All right, welcome to another repentance run. <laughs> We're starting off with the box here. Uh, I think I'll hold on to it for right now because we do want the soul hearts, but we're going to have to, you know, clear this level out before we actually go and fight. Before we go down to the next floor, so that way we can save our soul hearts, so that way we can keep with the deal with the devil. But, you know, maybe, maybe we'll go with angel deals. Maybe. And it's an XL4. I did not realize that at all. Hmm. Well, so much for saving the box. Might as well use it now so that we try to keep ourselves alive because XL4s love to just try to kill you. With our fire right here, it's going to take a little while in this room. That is a green champion skitterer. Ah. Uh, yeah, this room is going to take forever. You know what? I don't feel like doing this room. I'm just going to leave. Take that, game. Even though we do kind of miss out on a little bit of money there, I think it'll be fine. You know, using our only bomb at the time. Uh, but I'm, I'm confident that we'll get another bomb here. Uh, our stats are looking a little bad. Mostly it's our fire rate that's not all that good. And it just got even worse. Alright, you gotta love it. Gotta love it. It is a little unfortunate that I didn't see that it was a XL4 and took damage there. Because uh, now we don't have a chance at a double deal. Well, we have a 36% chance. Like, come on. It's still there, technically. But the odds of it actually appearing are pretty low. I'm not expecting it to actually pop up at all. So, yeah. Probably, probably dead. A dead endeavor. And we'll just slowly keep uh, keep firing here. Definitely going to need to get a tears up with some, some variety, but I guess that's what I get for taking a pill, because you really shouldn't be taking pills unless you have some method of making them positive or neutral. But we'll continue out here try to find our Ida probes. And we get Proptosis. Ooh, not too bad. That does kind of solve our damage a little bit. We should go find our other item room. Very funny game. We kind of need a bomb for that. But Proptosis makes that way you have to get a little close to enemies, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Especially when you have a decent movement speed like we do now. And Fire Mind. Alright, well. You know what? Just F me up, fam. Humbling Bundle's good. The car battery's also good, but I think I'll take Humbling Bundle. I mean, I guess we could use store credit, but I'm going to hold on to it just in case. Trying to get Fire Mind to proc here and explode, but just going to hold on the credit card just in case it uh, we actually do end up getting the double deal. And it doesn't want to proc. All right, well, I guess we'll just continue on here. And just go fight the boss, which is going to be... Widow. It's not too hard of a boss. Stay relatively close-ish. And it's an idiot and just jumps right into the fire. Haha. <laughs> Take that, you dumb bug. Speaking of bugs, I've been playing uh, Starship Troopers. And last night, I was really tempted to record. Like, I was playing with some friends. And uh, one of them was like, hey, you should probably record this and put it on your, your YouTube. And then, like, three seconds. Which was really funny, because... The, the people in there, because it does have in-game voice chat, and uh, they were just going back and forth, and it was just, it was just a funny time, but then uh, it immediately got ruined, because somebody starts screaming the n-word over and over, it's like, ah, alright, that's why people don't stream this kind of stuff, or make videos of this kind of stuff, well, too frequently, because of stuff like that, and with that, we might as well go down to the next floor, maybe we'll do a one-lap uh, beast run, that sounds, that sounds fun. Very, but that that uh, that time was very much a definition of uh, this is why we can't have nice things. I mean, it was still fun regardless, even though one person was being an idiot. I think it's more like the uh, the shock value or shock value humor or whatever. You know, in some instances, it's good, it can be funny, but not this, not in that way. 
And we could actually play the sacrifice room here if we actually manage to get ourselves a little more HP. Fire mind, we do have to be a little careful because as you saw right there, it does explode and it will hurt Isaac. Or should I say Eden? But if we just stay relatively medium range against everything, we should be fine. But getting that burning effect is quite uh, beneficial for us. And I was a little too close. My bad. A slight burning effect. It's like it has uh, chlamydia or something. Uh, it can be really good. The explosions also does decent damage and getting that fire. It's kind of like a poor man's bird's eye. I guess. And we got ourselves a health upgrade. Alright, not too bad. And inside here is the shovel. Which, you know what? I will take. Makes that way we can get ourselves a crawl space. And inside of here is just more money. Alright, that's good. That's good. I'm honestly not mad about that at all. That makes us that way we can... Um, uh go to our shop and potentially get something out of there. We did blow up the, the the nation machine already, right? I can't really remember if we did or not. But anyway, getting the shovel here, or we need to go deeper, whichever you prefer to call it, does make it so that way we can go into the crawl space pretty much, or not pretty much, every single floor, and have a good potential of getting items, because uh, that's kind of what people go for the crawl space. Either that, or we could find a find a uh, black market would be fun. So our shop is card reading, but we don't have a method of getting even more money. All right, we need four more cents. I'm pretty sure we can get it. Oh boy, at Bephora. Hmm. Pretty sure we can get it inside the mob trap room. It's unlikely, but I think we can get it inside there. Because there's a golden chest. That's a funny game, not being able to get to that. I mean, we could use credit card, but I think we can get a better opportunity. Look at that. There's two cents right there. We just need two more. Come on, game. I know you can do it. Bombs are key. Which comes at a terrible time. I mean, we could blow up the donation machine. But it does come at a terrible time since uh, we needed that key to, to open the golden chest. Alright, keys. And money. I'll take that. Now we're back down to zero bombs again. And I will open this up. Hey, look at that. We got our bomb back. Not too bad. And this mob trap room isn't going to take too long. One more. Epiphora is going to increase our fire rate as long as we continue to fire in the same direction. As you can see here, it is slowly increasing. Well, not really slowing. It's kind of going pretty fast now. Perks is good to know. And I guess with that, we'll just go down to the next floor. But uh, getting card reading here, as you can see through the item description mod there, uh, you have the red portal, which sends you to the boss, yellow portal, which sends you to the item room, blue portal is the secret room. And uh, it can be pretty helpful. Especially if you're trying to go fast. Go fast. Eating grass. Something like that. But we do actually get a little bit of an advantage of not needing to use a key. Ares. Sure. I'll take that. Now we do have a little little mushroom dude there. You see him undulating? That is a prime target for we need to go deeper to get a crawl space. And inside here is Isaac's heart. All right, well, let's not go pick that up at all. Actually, 
I'm thinking here. It makes us that way we don't have to worry about taking damage from Fire Mind. We just need to watch out from taking damage from everything else. But if we're basically close quarters the entire time, we uh, don't need to worry about things. I think that was actually a good pickup. I can already see it now, the clickbait. Isaac Hart is actually good? Question mark? No, no, no. I'm probably not going to do that. I don't really like uh, doing the, the whole clickbait. Clickbait thing. I like to leave my thumbnails and titles relative to what actually happens inside the in the run itself. And we don't actually have a bomb. We did get ourselves steam sail, which is pretty good. Uh, even though that the shovel is active right now, uh, you do not get more than one crawl space per per floor. And the best part about having bone hearts here is that when we do actually take damage, we can refill it. It's not like a soul heart where uh, we can't refill it unless we get another like half heart, soul heart, half a soul heart. Well, we've been to the item room in the shop. The only thing left is really just fight the boss. Eh, might as well go ahead and do it. It's going to be wretched. Okay. Which is going to hurt us a little bit. We'll just continue on here. We did lose most of our red hearts, but we'll get it back from the box here. Look at that. We did. Uh, I'm going to take credit card inside. And it's just going to be a Krampus fight. Oh, boy. And he gives us head of Krampus, which I don't think is better than we need to go deeper. And with that, I think we're done with this floor. It's going down. Make no decisions. Just go. Head empty. Uh, obviously I'm going to go to the item room. And we get HP, which isn't bad. And in our crawl space is... Oh, look at that. Black market. And we have the credit card. We could charge all this. Ooh, this is all good. So you already know that I'm doing that. There's those BOGO bombs. Starter deck. Oh. Temperance, four seats, five random pills. Uh, I think I'll hold off for right now. Not particularly feeling too hungry, and... I think... Sure, we'll take Mr. Me. As much as I like... We need to go deeper. I think it's definitely paid off. And Mr. Me here does make it so that way we can get into, like, ball trap rooms, steal, steal devil deals, which we really may only have, like, one or two left. But hey, it's enough to, to make it make it work. Let's just look here, and there's the boss room and item room. Now, getting to the shop is going to be a little hard. Oh, the room's already because of that. But you know what? Nun's habit's good. Automatically charges, fully charges, current active item. Mm. Making Mr. Me a three-room cooldown is pretty good. Let's try this again, Mr. Me. Explode this. We could get more money. And you know what? Bring me that, too, as well. Thank you. All right, we got ourselves an extra trinket here, which is adoption papers, which I'll hold on to. Run! Unfortunately... You know what? I'm feeling hungry. All right, well, that could have gone a lot worse. Definitely could have gone a lot worse. I'm glad that we got a size down. 
Well, it's not really all that good getting a size down because, uh... Because, uh, now we're not gonna be able to essentially become a meat bear, a better meat bear... Barrier? Yeah, barrier for our little Isaac's heart here. And you know what? This is actually my first time using Isaac's heart effectively. I mean, it's a lot better than it used to be. You know, getting this little charge effect and, you know, pushing enemies away and all that. I don't know why I'm going this far. Uh, yeah, let's just go back and fight the boss. There's no reason to, for me to be backtracking like this. We've already found the mob trap room. A little bit of a mistake by me. But hey, it happens. Alright, let's go fight the boss. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh boy, it's Reap Creep. Which is actually a really good boss for us to fight against. Because we can essentially keep keep him at bay. There we go. Did that whole fight without taking damage. I like it. And you know what? Yeah, let's go down. This is looking like a pretty good run, but I don't think it's beast level first lap kind of good. I mean, who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. And I will go into the secret room. That makes... This shows that we don't have uh, a greed in our shop, which I think is really good. You know what? I will go fight Beast as a first first lap first lap victory. Cause you never know. Inside here is Rotten Baby, which I will take. Wheel of Fortune. Stars card. Okay, let's go fight the boss now. Since we have the stars card, go straight to our item room. Which the boss is going to be Can it be south of here? It is south of here, okay. We got a teleportation card so we can get out of boss rush and out of the mom fight itself. I gotta remember to keep uh, keep Isaac's heart safe, especially against Red Mom here. That's going to be stomping a lot. Gotta keep that bone heart. It's actually really important that we keep it. And look at that, we managed to save it. Oh boy. And you know what? Let's take the negative for more damage. And inside here is... Nothing really too interesting for us. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, yeah, a guppy item, but... We're not gonna get another guppy item. Poor Babylon, we can't activate. Too spooky is probably... The best synergy here for us. And we get a Lodestone and Papua Duplex. Uh, I'm gonna go... Lodestone. Stars. Everything Jar, no thank you. Not today. It's not really needed. No more fire, I need him to jump. Come over here, dude. And we already found our item room one out. We just need to go back and do the ascent now. We do get one more floor. Which means that we could also get... Uh, we're one of three for... For conjoined. Which with Firebind and how we're having basically a close quarter combat here would be really, really helpful for us. And I will go to the secret room instead. And just more spiders. All right, good to see. There's a bomb here. Maybe we'll get a little money. We did not. Trying to make the last shop worth it. 
which we should try to find on this floor, which I don't think is actually going to be this way. More HP, definitely going to be needed. And it's the boss room. All right, well then. Can't go in there yet, because that's Dad's note in there. Guiana 2. We found our item room. There's no reason to go inside there, because if we go to the next floor, or through the ascent, uh, that room will be clear for us. And it's unfortunate that we're not going to get another... Another uh, familiar here to get conjoined. Black bean, sure, why not? And I think with that, we'll just start the ascent. Yeah, there's no reason to continue on with this floor. All, all it'll do is probably incur more damage, so... Yeah, let's go with the Ascent. And if you drop a trinket like this, you will actually get a re red key. I can actually finally show it and not just talk about it. See? So if you're having trouble getting the uh, Tainted characters, that's how you do that. Or at least how I do it. To, un to unlock them. And our item room is... Host hat? Or mom's contact? This is difficult. Because the freezing effect is actually really, really good. But host hat makes that where we're invul invulnerable to explosions, which includes our own fire mind if we're close. If Isaac's heart is close. I think we're going to have to go defensive here. As much as I would have preferred having a... Preferred having a... The freezing effect, I definitely think a host hat is probably best here. Especially in rooms like this where it gets close. We've already been inside this item room, as you can see. We're just going up. Now, Mr. Me isn't going to do too much for us. Alright. Good damage, good damage. It's been, it's been a little while since I've done a first lap uh, beast run. Hopefully I can manage to... Get something out. Something good, I should say. There is a crawl space. Does that count on the ascent? Oh, <gasps> it does. Would you look at that? Oh, that's so good. I mean, this does lower our fire rate by a ton, but we do. Okay, okay. That's good to know for future reference. If you have, we need to go deeper, and you're going to the the beast fight. Use it in the item room. Oh, that is that is so cool. I didn't think that that would be a thing, but it is. Uh, turns Isaac's immobile. Invincible, extremely, whatever. I mean, sure, we can... We have starter deck, so we can take two... Two things. Just go ahead and use the death card in here, so I don't feel like fighting fighting them. Uh, but yeah, chariot card is good. We'll hold on to the crack key, because we definitely want that extra life. Which is probably going to be needed. Get ourselves a random soul heart. Ooh, I'll definitely take it. Alright, good to know for future runs. You, you learn something new every day. I was not expecting that the... That the uh, we need to go deeper crawl space would still be in the item room. I mean, I guess it's kind of the same as taking a... Uh, shoot, what is it? Uh, the golden teleporter? Because there are... There are no secret rooms or super secret rooms on this floor, so you can do a full clear relatively easy, especially in the later floors, and get yourself free devil deals slash angel deals, whichever you've gone. If you didn't know that already. And we just took two hits. Uh, I wasn't really sure where we were getting those hits from. Oh, 
but we'll just continue on here. We will get three soul hearts from fighting beast, like going up like the actual fight itself, and I think also a holy mantle effect. Yeah, we don't need to sleep in the bed. If we didn't have all this red hearts, we would get three more soul hearts, which is not too bad. All right, let's uh, use crack key. And get ourselves this inner child, which is an extra life. You know what? Go, Mr. Me. Bring that chest to me. <laughs> uh, and we get... Arcano. Eh, that's not too bad. Alright. Time for the harder of the three fights, in my opinion. Which is actually Dogma. Dogma is... The hardest. I think I'm doing pretty good here. I gotta, I gotta go a little radio silence. This is a little difficult. There we go. We got rid of the television. We turned off the news channel. Okay, does it go after Isaac's heart or does it go after Isaac itself? Oh, nope, it went after Isaac's heart. All right, well, there goes the bone heart. Please, sir, stop doing this attack. Okay, get him, get him, rotten baby. Yeah, more fire mine. No, I like that. Okay, we did it. We got through the harder of the fights here. Whether or not we win or lose here, I learned quite a bit. And I think we had a really good run. You know what? Go, Mr. Me. Get him. Yeah, good job. He's getting in there. He's biting some ankles. Essentially, all we gotta do is get in close. Oh, man. Look at that. And we're just going to wait until we get to the beast fight. We do have the holy mantle effect. Poptosis is doing a lot of damage. Compared with uh, Ease Mascara. Getting Lodestone on the Pestilence here is actually... Pretty good, so we don't have to fire as much. Stand above Isaac's heart. Go, rotten baby, go! Stand above Isaac's heart, so that way we don't incur any more damage. Or at least try to save the holy mantle effect as much as we can. Here comes war. Just get in there, get in there. took the holy mantle effect and war is down all right i know my commentary is starting to lack a little bit but i'm kind of concentrating i'm trying to <laughs> try to not take as much damage as possible i really do want to actually win here ah the scythe hit my heart ah, i did it again you know what we're just going in you did it again no there we go all right well, I hope you enjoyed this run. I definitely learned a lot. And, uh, yeah. This this run's gonna go relatively quickly. We could also be dropping some bombs. Get up, get up to the ceiling. Go, Mr. Me. Help out. Sock him in the eye. Beat up mother. Or, not mother, beast.
Oh, and I died. Oh, no, we got so close. No, the, the stalactites got me. Uh, oh, well, I had a fun run, and I actually learned quite a bit. But I hope you enjoyed today's run, and you know what? I'll see you in the next one.